Okay, forces acting on a body. This is a very easy example of forces acting on a body. Now, like with all Mechanics 1 questions, it is very important that you draw a diagram and that you highlight the key points in the question. So, a particle of mass 5 kilograms is pulled along a rough horizontal table by a horizontal force of magnitude 20 newtons against a constant friction force of magnitude 4 newtons. Given that the particle is initially at rest, A. Find the acceleration of the particle, B. Find the distance travelled by the particle in the first 4 seconds, and C. The magnitude of the normal reaction between the particle and the table. Right, let's highlight the key points. So, mass is 5 kilograms. Now, the word rough horizontal table are very important. If it says rough, it means you've got to include the force of friction. If it says smooth, you can assume there's no friction. So that's really important to read the question carefully. The horizontal force is 20 newtons and the friction is 4 newtons. So let's draw a quick diagram to represent this question. So you've got your particle, which is 5 kilograms. And it's moving in that direction with 20 newtons. And the friction in the opposite direction, opposing motion, is 4 newtons. Now, as it's sat on a table, so here's my table. The weight of the particle is acting downwards, so 5 times the force of gravity. Okay, because remember, weight is a force and mass isn't. So you've got to do mass times gravity to find out the weight of the particle. And the reaction is acting upwards from the table. So, now we can answer the question. So the first part, part A, is find the acceleration. Now, we need to highlight to the examiner and yourself which way you're going to take as positive. So, we're going to take this direction as positive. So, all forces acting in that direction are going to be positive forces. Any acting in the opposite direction are negative forces. So, forces in that direction, so in the horizontal direction. So acting towards the right is 20 newtons. There's nothing else acting to the right. The only thing that's opposing the motion is the minus 4 newtons. And that's equal to ma. Because remember, force equals ma. We learnt that right at the start. So force equals mass times acceleration. So this 20 and the 4 are the forces... And that's equal to the mass times the acceleration. Well, we know the mass is 5, and we want to find the acceleration. So 20 minus 4 is 16, equal to 5a. So a is equal to 3.2 metres per second to the minus 2. That's part A completed. Part B says the distance travelled by the particle in the first 4 seconds. Now... Because it says distance and time, it means we're going to look at the SUVAT equations, which we did in Chapter 2. So, we're now going to look at SUVAT. So, SUVAT. Now, we just found the acceleration in the first part, which was 3.2. We're trying to find the distance. We know the time is 4. Now, we need to know one of the other two things, either the U or the V. Well, we can assume that this particle started from rest, which means the initial speed was zero. So we're not using V. Now, that means you need to find a SUVA equation that doesn't include V. And that one is S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So if we substitute in the parts we know. So we're trying to find S. 
u, u is 0, so 0 times anything is 0, plus a half times 3.2 times 4 squared. So we sort that out, we find that the distance travelled is 25.6 metres. Right, part C says calculate the magnitude of the normal reaction between the particle and the table. So in this question, we're looking at this section of the diagram. We're only looking at the forces acting in the upwards and downwards direction. Now, the other important thing to remember here is that the particle is accelerating in this direction. There's no acceleration upwards or downwards. So, the acceleration here is going to be zero. So, question C says calculate the magnitude of R. So, C, so this time we're looking at forces in the upwards direction. And this time we've got the R is the only thing in the positive direction minus the mass times gravity. And that's equal to zero because 5 times the acceleration, which is zero, is going to be zero. So, R. The reaction is equal to 5G, so the normal reaction is equal to 49 newtons.